Now, after winning your calf, you go now to stage three of calf management. Stage one was colostrum management. Stage two is rumen development. Stage three of calf management is as important as stage one and stage two. That is the stage now when you must maintain growth because while the rumen developed within the first two months, other body organs must also continue grow, growing as the, right, the, the, the time for their growth falls due. Hindi wa wakati wa kiakisha kwamba standardness is not happening. Hakuna siku ndama wako anakosa kugrow kwa sababu hakupata nutrients za growth. If you develop the rumen but you don't match the development of the glands, the development of the udders and those other veins and all those together so that capacity ya rumen will match hakuna mahali utaenda na kwanza ningetaka kuambia kitu moja kuhusu rumen hata kabla ni sahau rumen ni ile ile kitam unaona ndani ya tumbo ya ngombe kuna ile kitu inakaa kama towel si ni kweli now hiyo kitu ni muhimu sana kitu ambacho tunafanya wakati tunatumia tuna mola plus ali calf winner tuna develop muscles za hiyo rumen na tuna develop zile zile pockets ambazo chakula kinaingia ndani na tuna develop ile villas unaona ile vitu ambavyo inakaa kama towel zinaitwa villas eh yes those are the most critical things ukienda ukienda nyumbani leo mama na uletewe uletewe matumbo angalia hiyo matumbo vizuri ukiona hiyo matumbo kuna sehemu zingine zimemeamea hiyo vitu na sehemu zingine zinakaa kama hapa ujue hako kalikuwa kangombe kenye hata kalipokuwa three years kalikuwa kanakaa kama kanda kandama. Na kama ilikuwa ngombe ya maziwa ujue kalikuwa kanatoa lita 2 ama tatu. Na kama ilikuwa ni nyama ni ya kugro kalikuwa kanaongeza 100 grams or 200 grams pa kwa sababu the rumen never go to develop to develop. Ngombe akikula kitu. Hicho kitu huingia ndani ya hiyo rumen kinachukua between 20 and 40 hours kwanza kicha kichache. Ngombe hawezi kupata nutrients ambazo ziko katika kile chakula ambacho umempea mpaka kwanza hicho chakula kicha kichache ninarudia hivi nyinyi wakulima sijui kwa nini mnajua umuhimu wa kitu kinaitwa silage kinaitwa nini you cannot be a dairy or beef farmer and make money from dairy and beef farming without employing the use of silage on your farm na silage si ati muujiza hivyo na si kitu complicated silage ni kuchachisha tu ile nyazi ama dairy meal ama maize jam ama vile vitu ambavyo utapea ngombe wako ndio waku wa kule kwa sababu ngombe aliumbwa kile kitu ambacho atakula kitaingia kule kwa rumen kwanza for between 20 and 40 hours kwanza kicha kichache ikisha chacha kinaingia katika ile mifuko fuko ambayo iko ndani ya tumbo ya ngombe ile ambayo imechacha microbes zimeitafuna tafuna na kuivunja vunja into small particles ambayo inachanganyikana ndani ya maji halafu inaingia katika ile mifuko ile mifuko ikiingia hapo hivi ngombe muscles zinaifinya zina, zina, zina hivi zikifinya inanyonya ile maji ambayo imechanganyikana na energy na protein na minerals na trace elements ambazo zimepatikana kutokana na kile chakula ambacho ngombe aliku alafu inaingia kwa system ya mwili inatoka pale katika hoka mfuko ikiwa imekauka kwa sababu imenyo imenyonywa inarudi katika sehemu ya tumbo ya ngombe ya katikati inachanganyikana na maji mengine ambayo iko hapo inaingia katika kamfuko kengine tena inanyonywa inapaki inafanya hivyo step 1 2 3 4 within 72 hours 
after 40 hours of fermentation, then extraction, after 72 hours, inatoka inje ikiwa machi? Machicha. Na ile machicha, ndiyo tunaita cow dunk. Unaelawa? Kama huku saidia ndama wako kudevelop the rumen, na ikuwe rumen kubwa, ikuwe na villas, ama papilis, ndefundefu za kutosha, na muscles za kutosha kunyonya vizuri na pockets ambazo zinatosha chakula ikiingia zinafinya zinanyonya inakuja hivyo inatoka ngombe wako anatoa chakula kingi bila kusiagika kama rumen yake haiku develop vizuri wewe ukipea ngombe wako chakula anakula kiasi ingine inatoka nje ukienda kuangalia cow dunk yake inakuwa mingi kama alikula hay Unaona ni kama hiyo scaldank iko na kudikuni mingi. Ukitaka kujua unaenda unatoa hiyo scaldank weka kwa kichungi. Weka kwa nini? Kichungi. kichungi. Pitisha maji, utakuta kuni zimebaki kwa kichungi ya chai. Hiyo ni mabaki ya chakula ambacho haikuweza kusiagika vizuri. Kwa sababu ngombe wako hasiagi chakula vizuri. Vizuri. Ukimpa dairy meal na huku msaidia kuisiaga hiyo dairy meal nyingi ya hiyo dairy meal inapita through the system ya ngombe inaenda nje kama cow dung na ndiyo sababu mnakuta kuku wanapenda kwenda kuchokora chokora katika kinyezi ya ngo ya ngombe kwa sababu katika kile kinyezi cha ngombe kuna mabaki ya dairy meal ambayo haikutumika kuna mabaki ya maize jam ambayo haikutumika kuna mabaki ya wheat bran ambayo haikutumika kuku wanaiona kama ni chaku chakula kama we uko hapa leo na we ni mkulima ama mtu wa kusaidia wakulima nataka ujue hivi scientifically ukinunua dairy meal ama maize jam ama wheat bran ya shilingi moja kwa duka na uende upee ngombe wako na umunisikize kabisa ujue ngombe wako naturally ako tu na uwezo wa kusiaga na kutumia 25 to 40 shillings out of every 100 60 to 75 shillings za ile 100 ulitumia inapatikana kwa kinyezi ya ngombe yako ambayo inaitwa cow dung na ndiyo sababu wakulima wanasema wanaona fai, ngombe si haina fai kwa sababu nyingi inapita kwa system bila kusiagi kama hautaisaidia kusiaga kwa kuferment hiyo dairy meal kwanza ama kufamenti hiyo maize ya kwanza ama kuf, kufamenti hiyo hay kwanza Mola Plus iko na product ambayo inaitwa Mola Plus Livestock Microbes Kupitia kwa hii product Mola Plus Livestock Microbes hii unaweza kutengeneza silage tani tano hii kibuu cha 5 liters Kinaweza kutengeneza silage tani ngapi tano Yaani pick up ta tano. Hii kama ni kutengeneza dairy meal ama maize jam ama wheat bran na ni ngombe moja ambayo anakula kilo tano kwa siku, hii inakutengenezea dairy meal ama maize jam ya ngombe yako ya kukula miezi ngapi? Mbili. Hii 5 liters alone. Na ukichachisha dairy meal yako ama maize jam yako na Jofri atakuja kuonyesha wakati atakuja mtaona vengizi ya kuchachisha ndio ngombe wako badala ya hii ipite kwa system yake iende kama cow dung ngombe ataisiaga na hakuna dairy meal ama maize jam ama wheat bran ambayo itabaki kwa cow dung yako ya ngombe yako yote itasiagi utajuaje imesiagika ukiangalia haionekani huku wakitafuta hawapati na kaudank output yake ina reduce kama ngombe wako alikuwa anatupa one wheelbarrow ya kaudank per day atakupea a half a wheelbarrow kukuonyesha kwamba sasa ana extract zaidi kuliko wenye alikuwa na extra extract utaona tofauti maziwa itaongezeka growth itaongezeka fertility itaongezeka weight gain na meat itaongezeka Ngombe atangara ukimwangalia ni kama anapakwa mafuta. Mahali black patakuwa black, mahali white patakuwa white kwa sababu whatever you are starting to see outside of your cow 
inaonyesha the fineness of what is happening inside of the cow. Tunaelewana? Now, kwa hivyo ngombe wako ukiwa na maize jam, ukiwa na vitu kama hay, ukue na vitu kama eh, nepia grass, ukue na grass ya kawaida. Do something that shows that you know what you do. Cut your nepia grass, turn it into silage. Buy your hay. Come and mix it with your nepia grass or alone turn it into nepia grass, into silage. Harvest mind yako, weka kwa stone. Yale dry made stovers ambao mnaita mafefe. Yale mafefe siaga tengeneza silage. It pande itakuwa inatafunwa na life na microbes wakati unalisha inakuwa imekuwa digested. Ngombe akikula hautaona mabaki katika kinyezi. Na production ya ngombe wako itaenda wapi? Juu. Kwa sababu wanapata nutrients kutoka kwa kile chakula ambacho wanakula na kingi hakipiti into waste through the cow dung. 